The developer of an integrated wildlife and nature district in Mundai is looking at more ways it can reduce the impact on biodiversity. Mundai Park Development is funding four research projects to the tune of $600,000. Two of them aim to understand insect and Sunda Kolugo populations in that area. Often overlooked, insects like these can help build understanding towards local biodiversity. One research team is trekking through Mandai to collect these creepy crawlies. Up to about 80 to 90 percent of the diversity that we have left in Singapore are actually made up from, of insects. Insects are vital to ecosystem functioning, right? They are the pollinators for flowers, they are the decomposers in, within the forest floor, and of course there are predators and there are those that eat the leaves. The two-year project aims to collate a snapshot of the existing insect population in the forests. This could help them find out if there are invasive species and also guide them on future planning. The data itself will allow us to be able to identify what are the areas that we should focus on, first where the impacted area is, so as for us to make better plans for restoration. Restoration efforts may include reintroducing insect species and reforestation. The Sundar Kalugo, a gliding mammal commonly found in Mandai, is another inhabitant being studied. Researchers are looking at how to make it safe for them to move within their habitat. There are already structures like high poles and rope bridges along Mandai Lake Road to assist them. Other research topics include whether it's possible to use black soldier flies to process the dung of meat-eating animals and how surrounding temperature affects the way people retain environmental messages. We would be able to use the information and knowledge to better plan for our future development as well as operations. The information can also be used to educate visitors on Mandai's biodiversity.